actual God to be business oriented. Most of us have sold ourselves some lies. So say maybe society has sold us some lies. There's some things are not possible. That even when it seems like there is nothing on ground, something from inside of you, your spirit, will tell you no, it can still be gotten. Hi there, welcome to this week episode of EAP series. Um, I saw a phrase one time, I guess 2020 during the, the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic at the first place. Um, saying, when things go left, no, when things don't go right, go left. Mm. Sounds good. Remember the day I spotted that, I felt when things don't go right, go left. Now, let me show you the, this fact about left and right is a way, especially in the human body. If you've noticed, left-handed people are particularly the genius in something, the right. So also in our brain, the left frontal lobe it's the one that is in charge that promotes happiness, positivity, mention all the good things. Why the right frontal lobe? The lobe is the front of the cortex. They are working together. Remember, I said that there are different, there are all of this uh, part of the brain, the campus, they are all different parts of one single picture doing different things. The left frontal lobe promotes uh, positivity and all of that and happiness. Why the left, the right frontal lobe is the one that promotes depression, anxiety, fear, and all of that. Now, this is it. Remember, I talked about food. Focus. Focus, effort, effortlessness, and determination. I did not tell you that whenever you are able to, when you want to focus, you have to be able to label the emotion correctly. Because if you don't label the emotion correctly, it is going to be the one that is going to form the foundation of your emotional experiences in life. What do I mean? Imagine you are going for, you have a meeting with the president of your country, for instance. Yeah, let's say Mo has a meeting with the president of his country and uh, paraventure, let's say Mo is living in somewhere like uh, Lagos. Lagos, Nigeria, uh, which is known for traffic congestion in almost every part of the country. In almost every part of the state, rather. Right? Now, Ravenchon, the uh, president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, flew into the state office in Ikeja, for instance, and Mo is staying in. Uh, let's say somewhere on the island, let's say stay in Lekki Phase 1 and he needed to drive down to Ikeja to meet the president, to have a meeting with the president. Now follow my story. He gets to, from Lekki Phase 1, he gets to Balende, he's already at Yaba. Now when he goes to Yaba, he had a flat tire. Oh, let's not say he doesn't, let's not use a flat tire because if he has a flat tire, he should have a spare tire normally. Let's use something that he is not going to have. Let's say the car just stopped. Or parameter, uh, something happened. Maybe the clutch, yes. Let's say the clutch just won't. And the car is unable to move. Now, remember what I said. He's having a meeting with the president of his country. By that time, the amygdala is already sending a message. The stress level is already at, at the optimum. It's beginning to get sad at that particular time without no remedy. Because at that particular time, it's different thought I'm going to come to the now. Billion people are too okay. You have a meeting with the president of your country and uh, your, your car is faulty. Well, now let's not imagine that at that particular time also, uh, maybe the, 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 uh, the, like I said, uh, Lagos State is pro, which is already known in traffic. And there is a car, let's say an SUV, 
that is containing a, a family, a family of let's say five, six, or seven, hands their car just got overheated and, and uh, fire just spat from the engine. Somebody who is already served, who is already in his own car, thinking his life that, ha, how did I get here? Village people pro max and all of that. The car in front of him or her, in front of him that is getting burnt due to overheating, he should think at that particular time of how he can be a solution to that. How did I get there? Positivity increases depression. Oh, I should have said that at the beginning of this episode. When you are passive in any situation, it increases the depression. And so, cognitive, cognitive uh, therapists always say something to uh, uh, depressed uh, patients who are going through depression. They tell them something. Don't ever be hiding. Never find yourself like Make sure you are doing one thing at every single time. Why did they tell, tell them that? By the time you are idle, the right frontal lobe, which is the system that channels depression, anxiety, and all of that, all the neurons that are wired together to make that happen in the right frontal lobe, they wire together and they begin to form the emotional experience of that person. Let me go back to my story, to my imaginative story now. <clears throat> Imagine now Mona has a fire extinguisher in the sky. To help those families who their car is able to, about to get burnt and, and risking the life of about six or seven humans in there. Imagine more now big goes to the boot of the car, takes fire extinguisher, put out the lights. Now, I want you to reflect on this. Are you going to tell me that his emotional state will still be the same as when he found out that the clutch of his own car is burnt? I bet your answer is no. Because by the time he has helped that family, he has saved, he literally is a superhero, he has saved about six or seven lives by just not being passive, not drowning his own problems and emotions. He had left his own car, left his own problem, helping another family get out of their own problem by saving their lives. I believe he would have, his stress level would have reduced and his emotional um, tone at that particular time would be positive, at least why he has saved six or seven lives. So by the time he gets past his own car and Paramento is not pushing a call through to the president, Oh, was sending a text message that I will not be able to make it to the meeting at this particular time that you said because my own car had this issue, but I had reached out to my mechanic or somebody to fix it. Now, I'm saying this that even if it takes him one hour or two hours to fix the car and he's still able to make it to the president, he will be going with joy, knowing that he has saved about six or seven lives and he will be able to even share that uh, to, to the president about his selflessness and compassion with you, which would have formed his emotional experience for that particular time. The lesson I wanted to drive out of this imaginative story is that whenever you are in any state, like depression, like anxiety, never be passive, never be passive. Get something to eat. Positivity increases depression. Oh, I am sad. Or oh, let's say somebody who is sad, who just lost a, a, a loved one, and he's still there. He will continue to be sad. Now, you know, humans, we are very funny. We can begin to think, oh, let me stay in this sad state so that I'm thinking of this person, so that this person is very, very important. But notice, the more you stay in that sad state, the more you will be programmed to be sad. Like, the neurons at that particular time that are firing together will come together and will begin to form your emotional background and one will naturally be sad. So what are we saying? Never be passive if you are going through anxiety or depression. Always get something to eat because if you don't, they begin to form the emotional background of your life. Of your life. Remember I said that by the time you have fired all of this, by the time you have programmed all of this, 
your life will now be on autopilot. Your brain will begin to work on autopilot. So this is like your brain programming to how you want your own life to play out. I hope that story bless you. I'll see you next episode.